hi guys it's Elaine. welcome or welcome back to my channel and to this video so the new year as we know always brings new year's resolutions and a lot of people's resolutions and goals revolve around their diet their fitness health things like that so as the title suggests this month i took on the challenge the month of january i took on the challenge of trying five different k-pop idols diets and workout regimens i chose somi a soloist under the black label bts's jungkook itzy's chaeryong blackpink jenny and espa's karina for this little challenge no particular reason i just thought they'd be interesting and help me get more clicks so <laughs> but the goal of this challenge wasn't to necessarily lose weight in fact that was probably the last thing i was expecting to do because to lose weight as k-pop idols typically do they tend to starve themselves and i didn't want to do that but basically i had fallen off with my own diet and workout regimen i had got my wisdom teeth taken out towards the end of december early january and i was down for like two weeks and i was just really busy and stuff like that so i couldn't really get back into the flow whenever I fell off and it was just really hard. So I did this not only to rebuild that structure for myself, but I also just did it out of pure curiosity because I wanted to test the sustainability of these specific idols regimen to see how my strength, my digestion and things like that hold up because I think I can speak for everyone when we're all very confused on how you can hear how somebody can eat like an apple and a potato a day and dance for like six hours. And I also thought it'd be nice to add a twist to this genre of videos because these are very popular on YouTube, but I don't see a lot of people talking about the like science-based fitness and nutrition facts and insight of it all so as a nutrition student i thought it'd be my duty to add some flair to the video in that way and hopefully you can leave learning something new that can help you think critically about other idols diets and workouts and lifestyles and stuff like that and your own and also how you shouldn't compare it because you never really know you know for each person i tried to find as many specifics as i could but for what i couldn't find specifics on i kind of just did like an inspired type situation what i think Think the idol would like based on other things they've shown or said or done etc to help me with this video i actually got partnered up with the sportswear brand yvette and they sent over some lovely workout pieces that you're going to see later on in the video and that i'll talk about more later on in the video but i just wanted to give them this little shout out thank you for partnering with me i love all the clothes and i should disclaim that this is all for fun and games like i'm not crapping on any of these idols i am an active k-pop listener i'm also not saying you need to try this because though i'm a nutrition student i'm still not a professional so take this with the grain of salt always do your own research you know this is just for fun but with all that said let's get into the video So to begin this challenge, I first had to lay a couple ground rules, again, to give myself a little bit more structure. First rule of mine was to always aim to work out at least five days of the week, if not try for three days. I only say five days because Jungkook, he works out daily. And I'm not a daily workout girl, I never have been. I typically go for three to four times a week, but I wanted to push myself a little bit. Second was to try to get at least six hours of sleep. And even six is too little, but it's the most realistic option for me. As we all know, adequate sleep is the body's way to restore and repair itself from the task of expending energy all day and when you combine that with a shift in your diet and a rigorous workout routine lack of sleep is simply not in the question you're missing out on muscle recovery and retention as well as possibly encouraging excess storage fat in the belly area and other parts of your body since said lack of sleep increases the amount of proteins and metabolites that encourage that in the first place and the third one was that sundays are a complete rest day no working out no nothing the most i can do is walking and stretching i'm doing each idol for three days at a time so the first idol is miss so me Somi is a female soloist who's best known as being the center of the first wildly popular produce project group IOI. In 2021, she gained a ton of attention during her newest comeback at the time, Dum Dum, because of how fit and toned she got for the comeback. She even posted her weight online that a lot of people were not happy about. And she shared she worked really hard on her diet and working out to achieve her look. And it surely paid off because that was literally the only thing people could talk about when that song came out. Somi mentions that she's had a large appetite since young and was even chubby when she was young. So she had to learn how to lose weight and implement exercise naturally into her daily life in order for it to 
happen. Especially growing up in the public eye, I can only imagine how pressuring that could have been. But she is very active. She's done Taekwondo, rock climbing, Pilates, you name it, she's probably done it. And these days her workout of choice is personal training, strength training, as well as reform Pilates, and of course all the dancing she does in practice. So before, Somi actually got really famous during her IY days for her Somi banana diet. And that was her old way of restricting and depriving herself in order to quickly lose weight. However, she does have a history of yo-yo and rebounding. But now with this new lifestyle she has of weight training and a balanced diet, she's able to eat way more variety and actually eat a lot more than what she used to to accommodate for all the muscle she's building. People think she's still starving herself because of how much weight she lost. But to me, I personally saw her initially lose the weight from birthday to what she's waiting for. And in Dum Dum, it looks like she just toned up. My only guess is maybe volume eating, following 80-20, mostly whole calorie dilute foods most of the time and then being able to indulge in moderation the rest of the time. I am not missing my meals and I am in fact very, very healthy. I do exercise a lot and I eat healthy. <laughs> I think I had salami and truffle cheese and a glass of wine. I love you all and love yourself. Self love is very important. For my first breakfast, I started off with some tea and my supplements. I take supplements every morning and I take them throughout this whole challenge and outside of the challenge, but I'll get into the specifics of them later. Somi loves Greek yogurt. In fact, a lot of idols and a lot of like Korean influencers I see on YouTube always talk about Greek yogurt and diet videos. I personally don't like the taste. I think it's quite sour. So I opted for this Siggy's Vanilla Skier. It's a little bit sweeter and it doesn't have that intensely sour taste that Greek yogurt has. So I don't feel like I'm eating yogurt. It just feels like I'm eating very mushy, mushy, sweet baby food. I'm a texture girl, so I'm not particularly inclined to go out of my way to eat yogurt, but I put some Special K like cereal on top. You can obviously offer granola or nuts for some crunch and texture and drizzled some maple syrup. This was actually very good. It was just a little bit hard to eat because literally the last time I had yogurt, before this was like months and months ago and then i went to my classes i do go to school downtown so i do a lot of walking because the campus isn't in one specific spot it's spread all over the city so you have to walk to every class and you can walk various ways to get to said classes so on average i'm probably getting about three to five thousand steps minimum a day and to add on to that i purposely take longer ways and i also take the stairs so long as i'm not going to a super high place my limit is like three stories that also makes it so i don't have to spend more time working out later on in the day so this way i can use small spurts of energy over time instead of a large lump sum of energy in one sitting if that makes sense and so me and other idols cases they're practicing dance with varying levels of intensity throughout their time so this is my regular person version of cardio since i can't bust a move everywhere i go you know what i mean for lunch i made something i always do i love a good salad with some salmon i love salmon i literally am in love with salmon so me is always eating salads for dieting and that's like a go-to and you can pretty much put whatever you want into them because lettuce is so calorically dilute instead of opting for rice or a carb as a base like most people do making the base lettuce allows you to mix it up with your toppings a little bit more and your sides and stuff to fill up those extra calories and get in those extra nutrients so like i just said i use salmon as my protein and i use black beans as well for protein and fiber and i drizzle a little bit of light balsamic that's my favorite and only dressing i use i use no more than 20 grams because i don't like too much dressing it kind of grosses me out but i do like the taste of it so i'm just not eating like dry lettuce for snacks i couldn't find anything specific that she likes so so for her and for pretty much everyone in this challenge, I always just opted for fresh fruit. My go-to is apples. Okay, so now we're in the workout portion. I'm actually really excited because I haven't been able to work out for like a month. So obviously besides the endless hours of dance practice she does, Somi does personal training. With that, she practices strength training and weight training, which is where she has her extremely toned body from and muscle definition. She also does Pilates, aerial yoga, and that's what I based on choosing these workouts for. Today, I'm gonna start off light. I'm just doing three videos. I'm doing Sterling Kim. She is a a creator here on youtube who's known for like her korean style fitness videos that focus on getting those same aesthetics that idols have and next is a mad fit video she has a lot of videos on her channel that range from literally anything you can think of weight training body weights like anything you can think of she has it and i'm just gonna do the 15 minute standing abs because i'm gonna try to do abs every day and then finally i'm gonna do a mad fit cool down just for five minutes because i don't like cooling down for that long i decided to make the first day just pilates focused and not lifting too 
too heavy of weights or anything like that in addition to body weight y'all know at least if you watch my vlogs that i like to add weight when i can so i have some back here you can really go as crazy or as calm as you want when it comes to weights however as long as you have them that's what matters i'm such an advocate for adding weight when you can because at the end of the day you want to build muscle cardio is great but cardio with weights with strength training is going to help you build that muscle and burn fat if that's what you're looking for so here i have these one and a half pound ankle weights not only do i put these on my ankles but if i don't want to use a dumbbell i actually put them around my wrist as well if i need something lighter because these are four pound dumbbells usually for pilates they also do one and a half or two pounds but i don't have those and then for the standing abs i'm gonna use this 10 pound dumbbell you kind of have no excuse <laughs> like i said you can also use a water bottle because building muscle is so so important and you're gonna get more out of your workout that way too let's get it on what's really great about both of these creators is that they both make videos that range from the most beginner people in the working out realm to ones who can go really advanced go really hard and like to break a sweat so i do recommend these two creators if you're looking for people to try out or add on to your roster of home workout youtubers because i think they're both great especially mad fit love her so much and if you are not one who likes to do the weights too much but still want to get a good cardio and toning workout out in Sherlyn Kim is definitely your girl this first Sherlyn Kim workout lasts for about 10 minutes and the mad fit one lasts for 15 cooldown is five which makes up for a solid 30 minute Pilates strength cardio slash <laughs> whatever workout <laughs> wasn't as bad as I thought but now I'm going to eat my vegetable soup that I just made as a post-workout meal I was just prepping it so I would be ready by the time I was done because I'm so hungry working out really works up your appetite so I'm happy to have like a big bowl of soup so I like to save dinner for after working out because like I said when you use a lot of energy over a short amount of time you're bound to be hungry after the fact to replenish your energy which is completely normal when you work out but for that reason I always save my meals for after when I work out since I'm a night workout person what can i say i couldn't find exact dinners that somi likes to eat for her diets and i also didn't want to eat another salad so i saw a video of her making like some jjigae or something like that and i can't make korean soup but i can throw some crap in a pot with boiling water and make shit shake so that's what i did and it worked it worked so good but basically i'm gonna be using this kroger hot and sour soup mix as a base pretty much all you do is add water and seasoning and then it turns into this for vegetables you can pretty much add whatever you want i am going to be adding in some broccoli that's my favorite vegetable but because we have nothing else at least like fresh and raw because i would prefer to use raw for this and not frozen i'm gonna be taking this frozen dinner and this is where frozen dinners come in handy you shouldn't eat them every day but you should have them as backup just in case it has sweet potatoes kale black beans just a bunch of other stuff that is really good to have in soup so instead of wasting it in the microwave i'm gonna throw it in a pot just in case i need it i have more soy sauce and more gochujang which is like the only korean thing i have i don't even have kimchi like i have nothing and i don't want to go buy more so i just have to work with what i got despite the opposing flavors they do blend together well so i'm not worried but i'm about to put everything in the pot and get started making the soup i'm pretty excited i hope it goes good <laughs>
so good. I ate for a girl who doesn't know how to make soup. And the veggies are really soft to make this. Completely clean the bowl. I'm actually shocked because Arlene does not like soup and I ate that up. <laughs> like it was ice cream and with that day one was complete day two was the exact same with a day full of walking i actually had to skip breakfast because this day was my lab and my lab is at eight o'clock but i had to leave the house at 6 30 and i was completely unprepared it was my first day of lab but when i came home i did have some more leftover soup and rice for lunch it was also very good yet again and i had a popsicle after because i was craving something sweet the great thing about somi is like i said because she has such a balanced well-rounded diet she also allows herself to have treats in moderation so I love me my no sugar popsicles, you know, and I actually was craving something sweet again So I had those little like fiber one brownies and put some cool whip on top because I wanted like tiramisu for some reason I don't know why because I never crave that but I was like, let me make some ghetto tiramisu and it was so good And once I was done eating that it was time for the workout and here is where I welcome our partner yet again Yvette sportswear So Yvette is a professional sportswear brand started in 1999 and their focus is on creating high fashion sportswear being all-inclusive to all women of shapes sizes and fitness levels. They pride themselves on promoting and embracing the healthy body that varies from person to person and creating sportswear that is cute and comfy for all those deserving to feel beautiful, which is all of us. So I was able to pick out five pieces that I'll be showing and that I will be wearing throughout the video. So whenever I have any vet piece on throughout the video, I have the little logo like in like the top thing, it's the right hand corner of the screen right there. So you know that I have it on and that I'll have the pieces linked in the description with their names as well. For all these pieces, we actually got hooked up with two discounts codes so if you see something you like please go get it you can use code erlane 15 for 15 percent off your entire purchase or you can use code erlane 20 for 20 percent off any order over 79 dollars in case you want to splurge so the first thing i tried on was the limitless zip front crisscross padded running bra this is my dream sports bra the last time i had a bra like this i was in like middle school and i couldn't find another good one since this one is made to support your chest for high impact movement such as hit workouts or running and it really does do that all while being a completely wireless bra I personally tend to jump around a lot in my workouts for cardio so the crisscross design on the back is perfect for keeping these in place as well as the zipper in the front for extra security and their cool like sweat wicking fabric technology and the air holes allow for sweat to pass through instead of drenching and soaking the skin of your chest so you're not going to feel all icky and gross while you are working out and also a huge pro that I didn't even realize until like way later absolutely none of the tops and bras on the entirety of Yvette's website has those annoying like removable bra pads everything is a built-in moldable boob cup made out of soft microfiber and it gives you perfectly seamless coverage without those ugly like imprints and lines from the removable ones which I was so grateful for so if you're someone who typically wears a bra underneath the sports bra or a bra under any sort of active wear you don't have to do that with these because they already have cups in them and you won't see the lines next thing I got was the echo high-waisted running leggings it's a four-way stretch breathable full-length classic black legging made with recycled polyester I never have enough black leggings and I was so happy to add this to my collection because they are so seamless So sleek and smooth. You can never go wrong with that One of my personal favorites out of everything I got was the shift light cut out crop yoga t-shirt and it's because of the design I said this when I first opened it. It looks like a shirt You could honestly just wear out irrelevant to working out I could totally wear this to like go out or something So it's super super duper cute with the big cut out around the chest area and it has thumb holes Which I am a sucker for and the sleeves are super super long, which I love there's slight compression it's very breathable and i love it for like pilates or something like that it's perfect i got another bra it is the power hollow double straps running bra i'm finally getting to live my pink pilates dream i've been on the hunt for the perfect like baby pink workout set so when they reached out and i saw this on their website best believe i hopped on it yes i very much did and i look so cute in it too it's literally my ideal pink they're blush pink and the try on what i'm wearing isn't a set i just got the same colors that's really great about yvette you can mix and match different pieces even if they're not from the same collection because their colorways span across multiple products. Anyway, it's a high support racer back bra with more breathability in comparison to the zip bra due to the hollowed out design in the front, which I think is so unique and cute. And it's not too strappy either, so it's really easy to put on. And to pair with it, I got the shaped high waist stirrup yoga leggings. I really love these because it's those leggings that have like the ankle part as well. So you have a little bit more support or you can wrap it up if you don't like that. But I think it's great for stretching anything on the mat to keep you more grounded. Super, super 
super breathable, more four-way stretch made out of their new air technology, which acts as a second skin and allows for a much more breathability compared to your average legging. And it was really great. The cooling tech on this is no joke because I actually worked out with these in my sunroom and you could barely see the sweat on the fabric, especially when it's a light colored fabric where you typically see it pretty easily. So I was impressed. So those are all the pieces that I got from Yvette. Like I said, again, please look out for that logo on the screen so you know when I have a piece on and use code Erlane15 at checkout if you want 15% off your entire order or use code Erlane20 for 20% off any order over $79. Thank you so much again to Yvette for partnering with me on this video and sending me these pieces. I love them so much and you guys have to cop. They're actually so cute. And I wear them literally every single time I walk out now practically. So yeah dinner was super simple i made another bowl situation salmon potatoes and lettuce the salmon and potatoes were really satiating to have at night okay it is workout time i'm starting this workout way later than yesterday it is 8 53 right now and today's workout is going to be the full body 25 minute workout by romy street she was or is was a victoria's secret angel super beautiful super beautiful body and she actually has a whole fitness series that she uploaded on her channel and i thought that would be perfect for like the strength portion of doing somi's workouts yesterday's pilates got me a little sore shockingly enough it's not too unbearable but when I was walking around campus today, I definitely felt some tension and pressure in my body. So I'm actually really excited to do today's workout because I'm like pumped and a little bit warmed up from yesterday. If you also are interested in doing this workout, you do have to have materials with you. In the video, Romy's actually doing the workout in the gym with her trainer like right next to her. So you're gonna need a resistance band. Mine is too long. Definitely get the ones that are like half the size of this that you can like do squats with and stuff. I also have two four pound mini dumbbells because they're doing some slower like controlled movements. I also have a 10 pound. This is from Five Below. <laughs> and then I have one 20 pound, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, to be quite honest with you, since like I said, I'm still easing into things. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna do that, do a stretch, and then the workout's done, so. Time to watch me ugly sweat. <laughs> this workout was a struggle would be purely an understatement coming in and only working out for just one day since the past month maybe two i have to say romy street she took me for a loop and her trainer both of them crazy but this one did burn like hell i sweat so much and i definitely was a little bit more sore so i do recommend this if you want to take on a new challenge but be warned that this exercise is not for the faint of heart Goal. And surprisingly, I'm not drenched in sweat. The breathability of this set is a fact. For day three, I started my day with some green tea, more supplements. For breakfast, I had the same yogurt bowl, but I actually made it frozen. So I got my Nutribullet and I just added some ice, protein powder, and a little bit of oat milk, blended it up, put it in a bowl, and I ate that on my way to classes. I do just want to show you guys, I'm very much eating my breakfast on the way to school because I didn't have time. No so good. Don't think I'm going to eat this even when the challenge is over. This is a great breakfast idea. And it's very quick to make and it's so good. And it literally tasted like ice cream for breakfast. I didn't know yogurt could taste so good and now I eat yogurt. Are y'all proud of me? Like, I literally eat yogurt now. After classes, I actually couldn't go home because I had things to do, so I was gonna stop and get lunch. I stopped at Chick-fil-A, actually, which, crazy, but still got some good shit. However, this day, I actually ended up taking a turn for the worst. My entire afternoon, like, went to crap, um, and I wasn't happy, so I just went home, I skipped dinner, and I just went to bed, which I know you shouldn't do, but I'm human. Things happen, so. All I knew was I woke up very excited to get ready to do Jenny, so let's move on to Jenny. Miss Jenny Kim is the main rapper of the superstar girl group Blackpink, as well as being the global ambassador for so many luxury brands. We know her as Miss Chanel herself. Jenny is part of the many idols who focus on aerobic exercise for her workout of choice, muscle toning and cardio through Pilates, yoga, specifically reformer Pilates. With these exercises, she's able to slowly strengthen and tone her muscle while still burning fat, which helps give that slender but slightly toned appearance she has to her body. When dieting, Jenny avoids excess sodium. She has always said that to prevent bloating, but when not eating her go-to diet foods, she opts for portion control just eating what you want just 
eating smaller meals. So the first day I had her famous avocado salad for breakfast. This is one of her token diet meals that she has. For me, I added in some salmon and some egg over lettuce. I typically don't eat avocado. It's also another texture thing. I just don't like mushy food and I don't think it has much flavor either. Yeah, I'm just not much of an avocado girl. What can I say? I actually ended up putting barely any avocado in this because it was hardly ripe and I cut it already before I realized it wasn't ripe. So I just had to scoop in what I could, but it was still really good. For a snack, I made the famous black pink yogurt bowl. All the members posted about it. I'm pretty sure Rose is the one who started it. You just get Greek yogurt, you get granola, cereal or nuts or something like that, fruit, and then you drizzle honey on top. And that's what I did. The only problem is I use like frozen strawberries because I didn't have fresh ones. The only fresh fruit I have, like I said, was apples because that's all I eat. It was a little messy and gross, but it tasted good. It was just a texture thing. Dude, I keep taking these thick ass naps and knocking out. It's 12.22 right now. And I decided to take a nap around like 7.30. I was still kind of tired. So I was like, ooh, let me sleep for like two hours. Tell me why I woke up and it was at midnight. <laughs> Thankfully, today's workout is super simple. Same thing with the dinner. It's also super simple. The dinner plan for Jenny is just any combo of steamed veggies, your protein of choice. So that can be chicken, salmon, tuna. I am doing chicken breast today and a carb. So you can do sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, or rice and I'm doing rice because I've been craving rice but whatever you want fresh or frozen the more colorful the better there's 15 grams of protein per pouch with these things so it's super cheap super easy the workout for today is just gonna be dance cardio I'm doing the Emmy Wong loves it girls dance workout the mad fit ice cream workout and then the just dance kill this love black pink workout stretch and I'll be done maybe I'll do some abs after that anyway with all that being said I'm gonna go prep the food you'll see me work out and then that'll be the end of day one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. suspect all these are extremely fun to do super easy to follow along so i highly recommend you do this if you just want a fun light-hearted workout to do and you have like 15 20 minutes to spare afterwards i did mad fits five minute short ab workout it's just a really quick burn to end off the night if i don't feel like doing a full-blown 10 15 minute ab focused video it gets the job done so i also really do recommend this if you just want something quick to do at the end of your workouts for Jenny was the same on day two. The only difference is instead of using avocado in a salad, I made some avocado toast. I went ahead and fried an egg, put it on top. This is really good. I had a little avocado toast phase that I haven't had for months, so it was nice to eat it again. This night, I actually ended up going out with a friend of mine to Atlanta Botanical. It was the last night of the Christmas lights, and if you've been to Atlanta Botanical, the garden is huge. There's acres on acres on acres, right? You're gonna be walking, and I averaged out like 10K steps that day, so I just considered that my exercise for the day. Day three was lovely, not only because of the insanely cute outfit that y'all see me wearing from Yvette but I was able to start my day doing some morning Pilates in my sunroom being able to start my day like that almost felt like a sun salutation and just feeling the warmth on my skin shockingly enough who knew vitamin D actually improves your mood right the workout I decided to do was the workout I would have done the day before I actually felt like working out in the morning because I had the extra time it was really great I felt super pumped afterwards it was a full 40 minute workout starting with Yuka Sagawa's posture and back training workout I got Jenny shoulders thanks to that workout I got some cardio with Sherlyn's hourglass Pilates routine and then closed off with 10 minute abs from Juliana of Observe. For my post workout meal, I made another huge avocado salad with tuna instead of salmon. And I mean mad tuna. I used two packs of like the Star Kiss tuna pouches. Super easy and quick to prepare. It was very filling, very fresh, and it kept me satisfied for like much longer than I planned to. I don't think I ate anything else until like six or seven o'clock. To follow Jenny's portion control rule, I had some leftover calories and I wanted to eat something sweet. So I had a chocolate bar, fight me. And for the workout that night, I decided to 
to throw myself in a black hole for some reason for 30 minutes to be precise and do Action Jacqueline's at home bar workout, which I will never do again. And I honestly recommend you don't do, but it was, it was like, it's a good workout. Don't get me wrong. But it felt like I was back in like ballet summer intensives and it was rough. It was really bad. So up to this point, I was breezing through so me and Jenny. They were really easy for me because I eat similar things to them and we do the same style of workouts. It fit right in, it was great. And it felt like it was just a regular old week. Like it was just me. It's like I wasn't even on a diet. <laughs> Jungkook is the youngest member and main vocalist of superstar boy group BTS. We all know him, we all love him, and we all remember when Hobie ate that stick of butter. He's known for his insane discipline and dedication he puts towards dieting and his fitness regimen, and his physique is strongly favored by fans as he focuses on weightlifting and weighted strength training. In addition to this, we all know he dances like crazy and he does things on the side like boxing for some extra cardio. <laughs> Unfortunately, his preferred method of weight loss is typically through fasting and starvation for long periods of time. When he's not doing that, the diet of choice that he does is actually a salad diet that he talked about in a VLive in 2021. So Jungkook's salad diet entails to eat a salad every four hours, use no dressing, and drink at least two cups of kombucha. Now, respectfully, I'm a little loser. And like I said, I prefer to not eat dry lettuce. I decided to omit that rule. And I opted for tea instead of kombucha because I don't like the taste of kombucha and I can't stand the smell of it either. But it's really good for you. Great probiotics in there. But the Jungkook days made me question my whole life. Like I actually have never struggled that badly with a diet until he came Along. because we are completely polar opposites in the way we work out he does like really intense weight training i'm like mm, pilates yoga mm -hmm. i literally let myself eat most things under the sun and he's like just lettuce in fact nothing at all for like days and i'm like no girl can't do that so for this reason i found him personally to have the least sustainable workout i mean technically yeah he's eating but just eating only salads isn't good enough variety for the nutrients you need on a day-to-day -day basis especially if that salad is quite literally only just lettuce and like a couple more vegetables like to make this a little bit more sustainable i wish he would have just put in some more protein like a piece of chicken my goodness and maybe put in a carb or something in there to just dense it up a little bit more and dressing isn't completely bad i know it can add on the extra calories but as, so long as you do it in moderation you can get some more healthy fats and oils but as the days kept progressing i just found it harder and harder and harder to function with the like lack of nutrients especially on day two and day three i had a pounding headache like that lasted the entire day i was getting irritable and i was quite tired i couldn't last that long through my workouts i'm not feeling good i think this is the first time i've like actually not felt good out of doing all these idols diets i realize now that junk is probably the one that has my least favorite just because it's so not sustainable i don't know who to, who hurt this man to be eating just lettuce all day but my head hurts really like i've had a pounding headache since like 12 o'clock yeah i actually can't wait for like tomorrow to be over because it's gonna be the last day because this is just not sustainable at all even on the first day like i had to make another meal because like a real meal because i just couldn't do the salad so it was pretty unfortunate but i was just excited to be done with it because that was the only thing i could focus on was just to be done with his days so for the rest of these workouts i ended up working out in my room because i was tired of setting up the camera so excuse that but the first day i did mad fit's 20 minute full body dumbbell workout you guys know i love it it's really great i use 10 pounds for the whole thing instead of the five that she uses except for the arms because the arms are hard it was rough to get through but i pushed through like i said and to finish i did her five minute quick ab workout to get some core training in for day two i did emmy wong's arm and shoulders workout but instead of just using my body weight i used five pound dumbbells as well as mad fit's 10 minute dumbbell like back workout normally i would use 10 pounds for this but i absolutely like i said was just running low on energy to work out so i just stuck to the five pounds and by this point my energy was noticeably depleted i had a hard time trying to finish it but i got through it thankfully however day three i i couldn't do it and i had to tap out and unfortunately because his days set the tone so much i was having a little bit of hard time when i was moving on to the last two idols and getting back into the swing of this challenge 
next up is Cheryong of Etsy, and she's the fourth oldest member of the girl group and serves as their main dancer. She's had a long, famous training career before finally debuting in 2019. She's a killer on stage, and her stage presence is so great. She's grown so much confidence over the years, and it's really awesome to see her grow and stuff as a idol. She has a textbook dancer's body, naturally muscular with a little effort. We also know Momo of Twice to fit this description as well. For this reason, she looks really strong whenever she dances, and I think it makes her dancing visual look better in my personal opinion but chatting would disagree unfortunately because of her body type she typically focuses on cardio rather than weight training as her exercise of choice so as to not overdevelop her muscles specifically the ones in her legs and thighs i couldn't find any videos specifying her workout routine besides things of just stretching and body weight toning exercises so i had to consider that when i was choosing videos for myself to try out as for her diet she especially focuses on taking vitamins drinks lots of water and usually skips breakfast she also tries to not eat starches as it makes her bloated as well as excessively salty and spicy food don't know why but that's what she said <laughs> and now's the part where i get to be nerdy about the supplements i've been taking now these are supplements that are also inspired by che but like i said i just take these for myself they're good for bloating digestion and anything related to energy so vitamin b12 is sufficient for sustaining energy because it boosts the metabolic processes that are especially good if you're trying to build muscle b12 is a vitamin used for atp synthesis atp is energy and it becomes our direct source of energy whenever we're lifting weights and exercising so the more you have the better it's really good to re-up on that and you should noticeably feel a difference in your energy throughout the day if you have enough vitamin b12 i also take a fish oil it manages brain and heart health as well as inflammation it is essential especially for an idol who would be doing like the old-fashioned starvation diet your brain fog is imminent when you are lacking that many nutrients so i also find that it helps with my skin appearance i feel like it makes my skin stay glowy and manage my mood as well which also relates back to the brain fog thing and then my personal favorite magnesium has so many benefits heart health bone health but for this purpose it helps support digestion by feeding the enzymes that break down our food and it's also great for eating and sleep besides a melatonin so just be sure to take a vitamin d capsule with it or make sure you have a multivitamin or something with vitamin d so it can be absorbed but if any vitamin should be taken on this list i highly recommend magnesium because it's really great as for actual food she eats everything similar to what you just saw with jenny and somi so more salads lots and lots of fruit for snacks i even made something akin to like an acai bowl with just like frozen fruit protein powder oat milk and made a little frozen smoothie bowl because i saw she had an acai bowl in a video another day i had a huge serving of chicken over potatoes with lettuce and i just put the chicken breast over the skillet like the pouch chicken breast and put it over my food and it's pretty good hi guys i just woke up from a crazy nap so thankfully though the first day of chitting day is just dancing so i'm gonna do two of mad fit's dance workouts to make the mad fit workout harder i actually busted out my ankle weights and used five pound dumbbells where i saw fit her dance workouts are really really good especially when you add on some weights so it was fun and boosted my mood i felt really good afterwards so for my second day workouts, I just did some dancing, you know? So I learned this choreo from Xian Lee, a choreographer at One Million Dance Studio in Korea to Malamente by Rosalia, and it's so fun. I can't put the music in this video, but if you want to see a full cover, let me know so I can post it on like Ectopia or something like that. And then afterwards, I did Juliana Observes 11 Ab workout to end the night. And for day three, I actually skipped the workout. What can I say? I'm only human. So Karina is a member of SM's newer girl group, Espa. She's the token visual known for her almost unreal AI-like visuals. Perfect with their little metaverse concept thing I got going on. Recently, her and her members appeared on a show called The Manager where it just goes throughout their daily lives with their manager. And we got to see a little bit of Karina's diet as well as the other girls too. And her workout regimen, Karina has a very balanced and proportionate figure naturally and it shows on stage, which is a result of her consistent workout regimen of three years. On top of rigorous practice hours, she also does personal training where her focus is on weighted strength training as well as aerobic muscle toning exercises the points of focus target her abdominals waistline and lower body along with a general full body burn and through these exercises the outcome is what we see as a toned and defined appearance to her body where she builds strength slowly as well as burning fat so just like her fitness regimen her diet is also balanced and typical for a healthy person her age all those girls are still pretty young so they can really eat whatever they want and be perfectly fine so long as they have a balance her rules are fluid but she generally tries to avoid 
avoid processed and junk food excess oil and added sugars but like i said because she has this fluidity she does allow herself food freedom so long as she enjoys things in moderation for meals she follows a very similar diet to that of literally every other item we've talked about so far except for jungkook of course for breakfast i made something that i normally do but i swapped out a couple things i actually had rice with avocado and egg normally i have rice with like tuna and egg but this was good too and i seasoned it with some everything bagel seasoning and it was weird but it was good karina likes to have a salad for lunch or with her dinner so i had that as per usual salmon lettuce you know me lots of veggies were eaten she eats a lot of vegetables which is really good it honestly didn't even feel like i was on a diet at this point because i was just eating like what i would normally so today I'm doing an eight minute back and posture workout by Yuka Sagawa. She's a Japanese fitness creator, as well as another creator who actually made a Korean inspired Espa body weight kind of Pilates style strength workout with no weight by Hina Fit or Hina Fit. I don't know how you say their name. So wearing my Yvette set again. I love whenever I do Pilates to wear this because like it's literally like pink Pilates princess personified. And I'm wearing the leggings. For the Yuka Sagawa back workout, I'm gonna put the weights on my wrist. I wanted to go harder for the workout, so I busted my all black Yvette outfit and went to work with Miss Romy Street. Okay, guys, it is about to be 11 o'clock. At first, I was like, oh, I don't feel like working out. I just want to go to bed. But no, I saw my legs in the mirror, bro. They look real strong. Now I'm gonna do today's workout. I'm, I am in the mood to lift a bunch of heavy weights. So I'm gonna get my 20 pound dumbbell, my 10 pound dumbbell, my 8 pound dumbbell, and I'm gonna squat these legs to death. And I'm wearing my Yvette top again. It's literally so cute. There's a little Yvette symbol. Without further ado, let's go. For today's workout, I am starting off with listening to No Kid by Miss Polo G. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. I think I've got some muscle. Hold on. Y'all see that line? I see that line. Y'all see that line? <laughs> Let me get a dumbbell. Ooh. Yeah. Was mad. And by day three, I was over it, so I skipped the last day. Now, like I said, I did this challenge for a month, so I basically repeated Somi's day, I repeated Jenny's day, and then after that, I just like completely stopped. I kind of cut it a little bit early. But now for what you all were waiting for, which is the results. <laughs> watching this back now i'm pretty shocked that i still look the same especially because i felt like in the process i wasn't like making any big physical changes i only noticed that changes were happening when i would wake up every day and i could see like my bloating and inflammation and stuff go down i feel like everything was more internal rather than external i only say this because i assume i wasn't eating in enough of a deficit to warrant significant weight loss that or i was just eating back the calories that would have put me in a deficit because i do tend to eat my bigger denser meals after my workouts rather than during the day either way i will say i felt so many positive internal changes my digestion was phenomenal i was very gassy which is a good sign bad sign for the people who are around me but good sign for me i also assume because of the consistent working out and moving i was able to you know get everything going but i used the bathroom not only every day but multiple times a day which was great sorry if that's tmi but it was awesome i also saw lots of improvement in my strength as i kept going on with the workouts i started off a little bit
bit lighter than I normally would because like I said, I was trying to ease back into things with this challenge. But towards the end and the middle of the month, I was able to lift weights more comfortably. I got way more comfortable using the 10 and I even used my 20 pound dumbbell a couple times. And just the act of working out every day, waking up to make breakfast, and I made literally every single meal that I decided to eat that day. It also just reinforced like my discipline and set the tone to be more productive throughout my days, knowing that I had to be the one to set out and make time for things to happen. Funny enough, I started to structure my days around my meals so I could have time to go back home and eat something rather than possibly being tempted to go out and buy something. Like I was saying earlier, out of all the idols, I think Somi and Karina have the most similar diet and lifestyle to me and the most sustainable lifestyle in general. Jenny's is too, but I think those three are definitely the most like if you were to follow along, which you shouldn't follow someone else's exact diet, but if you were to follow along and do it, I think you'd still be fairly fine. Least sustainable award definitely goes to Jungkook. I don't know what that man is smoking because it has to be cracked because that is ridiculous. When you work out, your muscles are tearing and repairing to be rebuilt stronger, denser, and able to withstand all the exercise and intensity you're putting onto them. They're going to require more energy in order to not only sustain themselves, but eventually build more new muscle if you plan to do so in the future. That's how you're able to raise your resting metabolic rate or your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. These are the calories that you burn just by existing so that your organs and everything can just function. You're able to raise that more when your muscles require more energy in order to sustain themselves. Otherwise, if you underfeed yourself, then you deplete your muscle mass and most people don't want to do that. That's why gaining muscle I think is way more important than burning fat. However, they always say the best way to do it is have a good balance of weighted strength training and cardio to have a good equilibrium going on. And then referring back to why I was so tired, irritable, and had headaches with Jungkook. In 2019, a clinical study explored the carbohydrate restriction of adults who practice the keto diet, the ketogenic diet, and how a low energy diet, low energy meaning low carb energy, negatively affects the body and can trigger carbohydrate withdrawal. When you follow a low carb diet, you're avoiding your body's main source of energy, which is sugar, glucose, carbohydrates. All those are synonymous with one another. Lowered blood sugar can cause headaches, overall change your moods, such as irritability, due to the reduced amount of glucose to the brain. If I'm not mistaken, I think your brain requires about 500 calories to function itself. This goes back to the BMR thing. And if not enough of those calories are carbohydrates, you're going to feel the effects. You're going to feel the brain fog. You're going to feel the reduced patience. You're going to feel the irritability. You're going to feel depression even. I know some people <laughs> tend to maybe get sadder. The hangriness, it really kicks in. The headaches can also be onset due to the sodium retention in your body's fluids, further worsening your symptoms. So it's really important to stay hydrated and it's really important to get your carbs in, especially if you're lifting weight, especially if you want to build muscle. And it helps you get a pump if you like to see your muscles more. Yeah, with all that said, that's this video done. Um, I hope you found this enjoyable. Like I said, this was just for shits and giggles because I know a lot of younger people tend to watch these videos and aren't really that educated on things or just know like a little bit. So I hope it made it more enjoyable that way and I hope this was enjoyable for you to watch. Again, I want to say thank you to Yvette Sportswear for partnering with me on this video. Please use code Erlane15 at checkout for 15 off your entire order or use code Erlane20 for 20% off a $79 order or more. And everything that I was wearing will be linked in the description. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Erlane St. Cyr. I am 21 years old and I would really love if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I feel it in my heart that this video is going to do really well. So you should thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Erlane St. Cyr on everything. I'm also going to have my card website in the description for anything else that's not at Erlane St. Cyr. The business contact email as well as my buy me a cup of coffee link if you want to send more support to this video or to this channel. But of course, your viewership always means the world to me. So don't even sweat it. With all that said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.